Hey, it's Donna Filippiak, and um, I'm in a video challenge, and this is day one of 50 videos that I'm going to do between now and July 19th. Now, I don't know about you, but doing videos is way out of my comfort zone. So, I, uh, but in order to grow, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Something I learned on my prosperity team, uh, and so I need to grow, so I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Now, I'm gonna do this video. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about me. Uh, you may or may not know who I am, but uh, even some of my friends and family don't even know this about me, but uh, I rescue animals. That's what I do in my spare time. I, um, I tend to rescue cats more than dogs cats seem to be the more disposable animal in this, uh, at least in my city. Uh, there's somewhat like 19 or 20,000 stray or feral cats in my city. So it's a real problem. But normally what I do is I'll get a phone call or uh, sometimes I even find them myself. Uh, could be a cat that's pregnant, a cat that has kittens, uh, who knows. It, so they call, I take my trap, because I never know for sure if they're friendly or not. So I trap them, I get them spayed, neutered, and shots. Now if I find that they're friendly, then I will take them and um, adopt them out. I, I, you know, I do my best to find them a really good home. And if they're not, then I take them back to where I found them. Um, I make sure there's food, water, and shelter for them and uh, they just live their life out in that area. As sad as it is, uh, that's the life of a stray cat or a feral cat. And what I found that since I, I have loved animals since I can remember, I can remember them following me home and I'm begging my mom, please, please let me keep this cat or let me keep the dog. And of course I never was allowed to. Um, so now I can keep them if I want, but I don't keep them. I don't keep all of them. I do keep a few though, and um, it, you know I just I do the best I can to find homes for them. And what I have found that it's not just a hobby; it's my purpose. I, I truly think that this is why I'm here is to help animals, and um, I'm, I, I do the best I can. What I'm hoping for sometime, someday in, in the future is to have my own spay-neuter program uh, and it'll be free so that maybe everyone can get their animals spayed and neutered so that in a few years we won't have such an overpopulation. So that's a little bit about me. I hope you found it a little interesting and um, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.